Get ready, it's the Cajun microwave. Fire it up. From the birthplace of American barbecue, it's great TV time. You get a full one. Oh, it's beer time. I do too. Mm -hmm. uh, it's great TV. The summer of extreme barbecue continues, and what could be more extreme than cooking a pig in a coffin? Or what there's, do you call it? The key, uh, there, a microwave? There's probably nothing more extreme. Well, there is more extreme. You know, we're, we're the guys that uh, brought you uh, steak with a blowtorch. Uh, what else did we do? Uh, sh some shrimp, yeah, cannonball uh, cabbage, cannonball cabbage. Uh, just different things yeah, for. We're just getting extreme here. Uh, Jack Waybor is three-time South Carolina state champion, by the way. Uh, GreatTV.com. Jack at GreatTV.com. I'm Bill at GreatTV.com, and uh, we Bill want you to barbecue send barbecue tricks too, by the way. If you want, yeah. Don't forget that. Um, actually, at barbecue tricks, I have an article on the La Caja China and. A lot of people are really interested in these guys. So yeah, this is a this is called a cajachina. It's a roasting box, more or less what they call it. I'm going to help you here a little bit because it's kind of heavy. Um, and some people would call this a Cajun microwave. Um, the theory behind this, um, if you've ever seen the throw down with Bobby Flay when they go make Cuban pork, uh, the fellow who is from Cuba actually uses a cajachina. Now what you do is there's a rack inside here. If you want to lift up there, Bill, we can so you got kind of. That, that's grill. the top grill. And charcoal goes on here. Yep. And then you that got the grate. We got that. And then there's a tray in the bottom, and there's a rack on the inside here. And basically, you put the hog on the rack, or turkeys, or chickens, or whatever it is that you want to do in the rack. You you get them kind of up off the ground a little bit so they're not slopping around in their own grease. And then you put the top on it, you put the, the, the coals on top of the whole thing, and the whole thing works on radiational heat from the top down. So this is mainly known for small hogs? Small hogs, Cuban style. Um, a lot of times they'll use, uh, they'll use marinades, uh, um, mojo, cre mojo Creo, Mojo Creo is what they call it. Uh, marinade for the hogs. They'll use um, a lot of different kind of uh, seasonings and spices that go in there. Um, it is a it is it is a box that is it's inexpensive. It's easy to use. Um, it makes a lot of talk around a party. Um, this particular one, uh, a fellow that I know had it uh, advertised. He used it twice. Uh, he was moving and he couldn't uh, he couldn't handle it in his move. So. He actually gave it to me at a very nice price and delivered it. So you have the handle here for the grate. That handle actually pops up on the outside. So you got, you know, easy to feed, easy to use, easy to cook. And I believe, Bill, that you kind of used one of these or saw one of these being used at Bovanova. Yeah, you're seeing the video of it right now over what we're talking about. But I like it that the, the instructions of it are like painted right on Yeah, they're printed right on the side of the box, how to use it, how to what's going on. Boiling instructions begin with 14 pounds of charcoal. So I guess that would be the, the, the net downer. It takes a lot of charcoal to run it. Yeah, uh, 14 pounds is a lot. You have to create a lot of heat in the front end. Um, barbecue can be done a lot of different ways, and that is just one of the ways where you hit it hard with the heat in the front end, and then you let the coal just cool on down, and as the coals cool down, it pretty much cooks the, the whatever you have in here. Uh, suckling pig is what they like to put in here, small pigs. And you're not missing much by just looking at it, because once you're even cooking stuff, you should not open this until no. specified time. That's right. You, got, you leave it in there for as long as it calls for, and the instructions, I'm sure the instructions are on yeah. the side there. Um, like I said, uh, uh, these are these wooden boxes are fairly prevalent, especially across the French South, uh, Louisiana, so on and so forth. Uh, a good little machine, a nice cooker. Um, like I said, inexpensive, uh, great for backyard use, great for anywhere you want to go. The thing that I like, and you can really see the skin definitely crisps up. Yes. Blisters. Yes. Is there a way to help that process out, or is it just the process of the way? Cooking I think it's just the process of the radiational heat, how the heat rolls around that box. That's just what it does, Bill. It uh, really makes a nice hog, as you're seeing. It does. And uh, it can also be used for a bunch of turkeys. And yes. Yeah. And I have even seen in one competition a guy put a uh, smoking gun or some of those uh, something yeah, on the Yeah, they side. have a thing called a smoke pistol that you can uh, put in here to provide smoke. Of course, you know that 
um, since the box is sealed up and the fire is on the top, there's going to be no smoke on the inside. So they make a, a device called a smoke pistol that you can put in there. Uh, it works on sawdust uh, pellets um, and produces smoke for the inside in there. Um, you know, Cuban style pork is uh, not necessarily smoky. So, uh, you know, you get your flavors and all your textures out of the marinades and spices that you use. And that's how they like to do it. Cool little device, the La Caja China. The Caja the, China. We'll put the link. Actually, it's painted there on the box, so you can see yep. it. Yep. I promised Bill that I'd bring it to him uh, and put it in his garage as long as he used it. So we're going to look forward. We're well, at least using it so you can see it. We're going to look forward to some video from Bill actually using the Caja China. We'd love to see the Great Plates, gang. Uh, send them to us, Jack at GreatTV.com, Bill at GreatTV.com. Make sure that you, the easiest way is to get onto the website and hit the submit link and uh, put your graphic right up on top. That's all we got for this week. That's it. Hey gang, uh, buy local, think global, stay sustainable, every chance you get, hug your mama.